Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st, but keep in mind the timing is fluid. Now, typically these readings tend to play out for me sometimes the day of, sometimes a few days later, so just take that into consideration. Do apologize for this one coming out so late. Uh, today was my birthday, so I spent it uh, in my pool with my daughter, and uh, yeah, so that's what we did. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Hermit. A hermit is thinking about something that has happened. Okay? We have somebody here that is going within. They are thinking a lot. Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is a romantic, some a lover here. We have this is a lover, somebody that is romantic that may be uh, making an approach. Uh, this is an arrival or an advance. This is some. This is uh, somebody that is looking for a relationship. The hermit is a loner, so this is somebody that is thinking about. They're thinking about a relationship. They're thinking about, you know, a lover perhaps. Um, the Knight of Cups is an opportunity. It's acting on feelings. Um, somebody that is searching for love. Or falling in love or some somebody may be getting some flowers as well. This is a wise old soul right here. So we have somebody here that is very, very wise that is definitely thinking about a relationship. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, deep fulfillment is coming. And I saw that right as I started shuffling these cards. I saw the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is deep fulfillment, wish fulfillment. So there is some sort of, somebody has been lonely. They have been alone. They have been looking for a relationship. They've been wanting a relationship. They've probably been thinking about love or romance or whatever. Wishing, hoping, praying. This is wish fulfillment, a wish being granted. Somebody's wish is about to be granted. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. That in whatever these feelings are, this is going to. This is a lot of happiness. This is something to celebrate. So this is joy, getting together, having fun, celebrating, dancing, perhaps. In the past, we have the star reverse. So the star reverse is why, why, why something has happened that has dashed somebody's hopes or dreams. This is dashed hopes, dashed dreams. Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Thinking about something that has happened that didn't get fulfilled. This is a lack of wish fulfillment. This this is not a, you know, it's interesting because today I had this come to my head while I was in that pool I was thinking um, it's interesting I was thinking I was thinking it's a blessing in disguise you know sometimes rejection is a blessing in disguise because it's protection you know when somebody rejects you it's protection there's a reason for that you know so but it makes you wiser there's also humbleness here. Somebody may have become hun humbled. Um, anyhow, the star card reverse is a lack of wish fulfillment. Why is this happening? You know, this is um, a test of faith. Somebody not getting what they want, right, in the past. But it has. it actually was a blessing. It was a blessing because there, there is, the Nine of Cups is an offer of love. It is. It's, it's an advance or an arrival. And I feel like it's a lover that is going to bring somebody deep fulfillment. And if it's not a lover, it is something that you are going to love. 
if you have been reflecting on something that didn't work out, you know, or whatever, and you've been alone and you've taken a time out to heal, there's some sort of relationship here. But, I, but there's also an individual here that is thinking about something that has happened. And, I, and that star card reversed is like, um, there's some sort of uh, fear, fear of... I don't know, being alone, fear of giving up independence maybe. Um, but there is an opportunity for a relationship here. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings and there is some sort of deep fulfillment that is coming. Is it worth it? Seven of Pentacles. This is seeds that were planted a long time ago or at you know, at some point that are starting to come to fruition, starting to see growth. We have somebody here that is definitely thinking about a relationship, whether they want to put in more effort, what they or whether they're going to put in effort. They do see an opportunity here for happiness. Whoever this person is that is doing the thinking is very wise. This is a wise individual who has a lot of life experience. The lover's reversed. Okay, all right. So the lover's reverse is a conflict. It's a disconnection. It's a detachment. It is a broken relationship. It is, it is a one-sidedness, a lack of reciprocation. Somebody didn't reciprocate. That's exactly what that is. And when there's a lack of, that's a rejection. When there's a lack of reciprocation, you know, there's a need to go within and to, and to reflect. And there's a humbleness that comes with that. So I do think that somebody has been humbled and has become wiser for some reason. They become, they be, be, because of a, a rejection of some sort. I feel like there's some, been, there's some sort of... Uh, disconnection between two people and it's it feels like this isn't what I asked for you know it isn't what I was hoping for which puts somebody into that time out okay time to reflect on this relationship and whether it's worth even putting any effort into this relationship so I do think that we have somebody here that is thinking about whether they should put effort into a relationship. There is an opportunity for deep fulfillment right around the corner because of that nine of cups for happiness and a wish being granted. So I do believe that we have a an individual that has been humbled by a partnership that didn't work out where there was a lack of compatibility or a lack of reciprocation. They've been humbled by that partnership. And now I feel like uh, there's obviously something here that is that is coming up, you know, that is you can choose to take it and run or not. You know, is it worth it? Is it? Should you keep investing in this? So somebody that's what this is. Should I keep investing? And we have somebody here that is thinking about investing in something there. They are. They're thinking about it right now. High Priestess Reversed. Now, the High Priestess Reversed is a secret that is about to be revealed. Somebody has been keeping something to themselves. They haven't been telling anybody, probably about their feelings, and the secret is about to be revealed. There's a lack of awareness here. There's probably some sort of intimidation. Somebody may be intimidated as well. Um, the High Priestess Reversed, a little unaware unaware of some sort of see there could be a secret admirer here because this is a secret and this is an admirer here this is a lack of awareness we also have somebody here that doesn't know that something that they planted a long time ago is about to come to fruition and it's going to make them extremely happy okay you may not understand why some sort of partnership didn't become your dream come true or didn't work out but you're about to find out okay because there's an opportunity for happiness here so i feel like there's been a rejection that happened for a reason um 
I do feel like there's another opportunity for love. We have for love. We have somebody here that is looking for a relationship that is looking for uh, happiness. There isn't. There is somebody here that is has really been thinking and observing. This person has been observing and keeping their them to themselves. They've been keeping to themselves. But I feel like this is something that uh, was planted a long time ago. You know what I mean? Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Now the Wheel of Fortune Reverse is a setback. This is also something coming back around. Something is coming back around. The Wheel of Fortune is uh, stuck. We have a cycle that needs to end with a partnership where there's no compatibility. Um, Wheel of Fortune Reverse is a, is a setback of some sort. Bad luck. It is bad luck. Bad timing as well. So there, something may have happened. Bad timing. I, th I just turned that off. Apparently I didn't. Anyhow, um... Knight of Swords reversed. Ooh, put one right there. Four of Swords reversed. Injustice on the bottom. So justice is a card of karma. It is a card of truth. It is a card of integrity and uh, doing the right thing. Making a decision. Somebody is, is making a decision, a truthful decision, based on the truth, based on the facts. This is also a card of consequences, and this lover's card is as well. So we have some consequences here. Somebody is, is, is going to be, and this is a horrendous loss. The real, and I didn't want to say it, but the Wheel of Fortune Reverse is a shocking, uh, unpredictable, horrendous loss. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to lose something. And I feel like, I feel like they're about to lose something um, because they... Uh, I don't know, maybe they were arrogant. They didn't invest. They didn't put time into something. I mean, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords reversed is uh, somebody that is clueless. Maybe this is a know-it-all. Somebody that is insincere, that is rude. We have some rude individual here that doesn't tell the truth, that uh, is hiding something, is very, not very spiritual. We have somebody here that is not very spiritual. They're not very awakened. They are insincere. This person is about to lose something. They're in this, the Wheel of Fortune, the, if you think about it, for, very fortunate. They're about to lose something that was a reward. It's like they were, they were given an opportunity for a reward. For, this, was, this is like an unfortunate loss for an individual that may have let fear get in the way of something. Or maybe they were just clueless. Four of Swords reversed is extremely exhausted and fed up. We have somebody here. This is a death. It's a dead end. It's a dead end with the Four of Swords. This is the death of a situation. Um, the Four 
of swords. We have somebody here that is really, really sick. They are sick. And they could be sick physically or they could be sick of being stuck, fit, sick of things, the wheel not spinning or the, or sick of, you know, things not changing. This is stuck. So this is sick of it. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. There's no compatibility here. There's no partnership. There's no union. There's a lack of honest communication. Somebody's not telling the truth. I feel like we've had some suffering here, and I, I'm just going to be honest here. I feel like we have the end of suffering. I think we have an individual that has been thinking about a new relationship, you know, and they've been tied to somebody that doesn't really reciprocate. This person really isn't their dream come true. They may have thought it was their dream come true, but this person has rejected them or hasn't reciprocated and has really wisened them up as to who they truly are this is realizing a true identity or realizing another person's true identity somebody somebody's true identity is being realized at this moment okay and i feel like this is looking for more we have somebody here that's looking to have it all they want to have it all and they feel like they have somebody that they are interested in that they haven't communicated with properly or whatever and I feel like there's going to be some sort of offer or advance or something like that or an arrival even and this is something that started some time ago I feel like it's it is I mean because we think about the three of swords the three of swords is suffering this is the end of a painful situation and it has to do with holding on I feel like we have somebody here that is letting go and they're they're going to uh experience they're looking for love. They're looking for something more emotionally, emotional fulfill, fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling. But there's been some sort of fear, and maybe it's fear of rejection. Anyhow, deep fulfillment is right around the corner. There is a suitor here, or there is an offer here with somebody that is looking for a relationship. This is somebody that... Um, isn't really in a hurry either. I feel like this person is willing to put in the effort. They are willing. They are willing to put in the effort. Because this is hard work. The Seven of Pentacles is hard work. Somebody, we have somebody here that is willing. This this per, I'm not per, this person may have a garden, you know, maybe a gardener or something like that. Um sick and tired and of waiting for something to grow with an individual that doesn't want a relationship with them and they have another opportunity that they have been observing and I feel like they're going to go towards that other opportunity. Good luck.